My name is Monica Rivero. I'm a Cuban journalist and I was studying in the United States and because of the coronavirus crisis, I decided to come back to Cuba. I was taken to these students' dorms south of Havana with more than 200 other people. We are coming from the United States, Dominican Republic, Turkey, Canada, Spain, Italy. Vengo de Italia y veía cómo moría las personas, 700, 500, 600 diarios. Decidía quién vivía, quién moría. Sinceramente, yo me siento más segura aquí en mi país. Everybody has felt pretty confident in the health system because with all the limited resources we have, Q1 doctors have more experience working in hard situations. Mira, cariño. Gracias. The doctors and nurses are really nice. They change your mask, they check your temperature three times a day. There is not much to do here. Mostly people spend time on their phone, they read, they talk about the crisis, they follow the news. Some walking around just to keep moving. You have funny things like the guy who knows his family is waiting for him to put him in charge of all the shopping. So he says, I'm fine here, I don't have any worry here whatsoever, so I'm good, I'm not in a rush to leave something very surprising how close people have uh, become in the only two weeks I've been in a room for, with other three women and we consider ourselves friends now Three days ago we did the test, everyone was negative, still we were instructed to finish the quarantine. Every night at 9 p.m., like in the rest of the island, everyone in the center claps to give thanks to the doctors. The biggest applause was the day before we finally uh, went home.